Hello! You know, the Nintendo Game Boy and Tetris may have kick-started the whole handheld video games thing in 1989, but I tell you what, a decade before, we had the Video Master Enterprise. And do you know who is carrying one of these in their pockets and playing it all day long? Pretty much nobody, let's find out why. So yes, the Video Master Enterprise. Basically, it's a calculator that they've managed to force some games onto. Those games being Speedway, Brain Drain, Pontoon, and Calculator. Okay, Calculator's not a game. So yeah, it's quite a chunky unit, and it's fairly heavy, mainly because it's got five goddamn AA batteries in it. Enough to power a small bloody town these days. There's the faded sticker, I hope you enjoy that. And it was made in Hong Kong and given to me by my friend Quang. Thank you, Quang. So, let's see what the buttons are. It uses quite a sensible system, actually. The green buttons are specifically for brain drain, the red ones specific specifically for speedway. Try saying that ten times fast. The blue is pontoon, and, well, the white just activates the calculator, really. So, we shall turn it on using this quite horrible switch. Maybe something's broken off that, actually, looking at it, but there we are. It works. And there it is, the ancient vacuum screen with um, little bulbs at the top to show you what you're doing, really. That makes sense, don't it? So the first thing you do with something like this is to press the 8 button as many times as you can to see how broken the display is. It go beep. The answer to that is quite broken. Um, yeah, it's all right to the right of the screen, then one of the 8s turns into like a sort of, well... Let's just say not all of it is lighting up which is quite relevant to... Well, it's not going to help us in the games. Let's put it that way. OK, so the first thing's first. Let's use the calculator. And finally, we can find what 59 plus 2 is. No, we can't, because the 9 button doesn't work. OK, I didn't realise that. On the plus side, um, it's only used for the calculator. So we'll have to work out what 52 plus 7 is. Um, yeah, can't, can't really... Yeah, that's not good. If I hadn't entered those numbers, I wouldn't be entirely sure what they were. Plus 7 equals... Pity that's the broken side. Well, I'm guessing that's 59, because obviously I know it is. So, that's just the calculator. We all understand how a calculator works, even these early ones. But the question is, friends, what are the games like? Let's play the only action game on it, Speedway Squad, in colour. Farty noise. Yay. So, we've got gas and brake. So, one is basically accelerate, one's decelerate, and up and down. Let's get some gas going. Right, I've worked this out. So it's uh, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. You are the glow. The oh god, I've crashed and everyone is dead. So yeah, basically the little line that's brighter is the car, and you've got to dodge the other lines, which is not particularly easy. So I don't know if you've noticed this, but uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, no, no, oh, yep, yeah, through those. Um, it's very hard to... Ah, tell where you're going. Also, it appears to be able to get up to ludicrous speed. Let's just try accelerating. Max speed! Oh. Yeah, max speed's a little bit quick. It's so hard to tell whereabouts you are because there's so little distance. But... That, that was a noise. And it was a noise I wish I hadn't heard. Well, we appeared to overtake 32 cars, or dodge 32 things, or... Frankly, I haven't got a bloody clue, but there were 32 of them. Yeah, that's pretty awful, I'll be honest with you. The main problem is, there just isn't enough distance between the top and bottom to really tell where you are on the screen. It does play very similarly to uh, things like early LCD games and that, so... I mean, there's something to it, but it's not great, guys. It's not great. I don't really know what I was expecting. The answer is probably that, actually, but there we are. Such is life. Next up, Brain Drain. Who remembers Mastermind? Who guessed that this was Mastermind? Well done, you are correct. Brain Drain. So, there are four numerals that have been thought of by the Computron. You must guess all of these using the cryptic hints it gives you. Well, they're not that cryptic. Basically, these two numbers on the right, uh, the one on the left tells you how many numbers you've got in, correct in the right position, and the one on the right tells you how many numbers you've got correct, but not in the right position. This is going to be made slightly more difficult by the fact that, uh, well, to cut a long story short, <sighs> display's a bit buggered, isn't it? Right, we'll start just by doing 0000. zero, zero, zero. This is not how you would normally play the game. It is an inefficient use of your guesses, which I'm guessing it counts on the left. 
there we are it apparently doesn't use zero well that's nice isn't it let's next put in one two three four well it's, i think it's gone four one two three that's good enough oh there's one correct but in the wrong place okay five six seven eight now there's two correct but in the wrong place i'm guessing this means there's a nine in it uh, that's problematic because uh, you know that button don't work do it <laughs> this week on impossible mastermind it's brain drain well um is there really much point in continuing um eight two four three Yep, two correct, but in the wrong place. So basically, you keep putting them in until they move to the right place. And then you know what you're doing and you can work it out. At least you can if your nine button works. Tell you what, let's reset it a couple of times and try it again. Nor one, two, three. Enter. Right, we've got one right, but in the wrong place. Okay, four, five, six, seven. Oh, two correct, but in the wrong place. And eight. Oh. No, it's 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 got a nine in it again probably less let's put in all eights yes i think it's got a nine in it again tell you what let's play the next game <laughs> uh, i'll have to open it up at one stage and fix the nine button then i'm sure this is worth so much that i can retire on it twice here's a hint that's a lie and pontoon is our final game of the day well pontoon as you probably know is a game based on 21 the old you know get as close as you can to 21 with the two cards or more um but usually called blackjack these days uh pontoon is apparently well say that blackjack's like a slightly more complicated version of pontoon isn't it um, but Pontoon is kind of a different game, depending on where in the world, like uh, British Pontoon is different to like, the one they play in Asia. I don't know. It is immensely confusing. But as far as I can tell, with all these hit, double split and insurance stuff, this is basically just blackjack. Um, it's got sort of all the extra rules in for that. So I don't know. But I do know how to play Pack Jack. Pack Jack. Mmm, Pack Jack. It's like blackjack, but Pac-Man's in it. I'll bet that probably exists as a mobile game. Right, Pontoon. So the first thing you have to do is bet. I will bet 100 potatoes, because I'm sure that's the currency they're using. Press the bet button. Right. That's come up with, I think that's a five. I've got a seven and an ace. I've got 17. Ooh. Ooh that's a bit of a risk, isn't it? Um, chances are we're going to go bust. Let's play conservatively and stand. And the computer's coming up with... 10, 9, what, eight, I've, I've got 18 and it got 9, is that right? Did I, did I win? No, mine's 100, I lost. Um, did they, if I, fit, I don't know what happened on the computer side of things because the display is quite broken. Hooray! Well, let's try again. 200. Now if we win, we'll be ahead. This isn't going as the gambler's fallacy and it's not a good thing to do. Hit. No, bet. That's done. Oh, it's, it's got maybe a four. I can't tell. We have a nine and a six for 15. Ah, oh, that's not very good. Hit. Oh, now we've got 18. Okay, I'm going to stand on that. Uh, six, maybe. Seven. So it's, it's got 23. It's gone bust. It's gone over 21. We have won. It sounds like the world ended, but we won. Yay. Now we are at 200, maybe, is that the total? Is that our winnings? I've got no bloody idea whatsoever. Okay, we're gonna go all in for a 500 bet on our third and final hand. It's got an L, I don't know what that means. We've got 13, hmm, that's not very good, hit. Oh, 21! Hmm, I think I'll stand on that. I don't know what, what happened. This can't be 21, obviously. But it didn't seem to draw either. Yay! We've won all the money, friends. All the virtual currency we can use on microtransactions for our favourite AAA games. Ah, what a world. Well, there we go. Click. It's off. And now I don't have to stare at the viewfinder doing my eyes in because I couldn't see it from this angle in real life. Yeah, it's an interesting little machine, this. Um, I do remember 
calculators with the games built in. I remember somebody at school having an LCD calculator with a built-in boxing game, which was the coolest thing ever, even though the boxing game was a load of bum. But there we are. That is the Video Master Enterprise. And I tell you what, while it may be ancient and frighteningly primitive, it does genuinely have more gameplay opportunities than a lot of modern mobile games which just exist to suck your cash like a demonic bastard. Subscribe for more.